Hey guys and welcome to Words at Scale. So recently there's been a lot of talk about AI detection and GPT-3 detection and while it is important to know whether your content is being written by AI or whether you have any potential threats as far as Google penalizing AI generated websites and content, it is skewing us slightly from the path that we are on. We are content creators, we are copywriters by trade or otherwise and I want to start this mini series teaching you how to write certain elements of a blog post. So with the recent Google helpful update it is important to know that AI is not being penalized per se but thin content, unhelpful content, content that doesn't address the query directly is being penalized. So today I'm going to use Jasper Chat, which is available through the boss mode. So if you sign up under me, you get 10,000 words for free and you can use Jasper Chat. And the beauty of Jasper Chat is that, at least for now, it is not spending any credits. So whenever you use Jasper Chat, you are not spending any credits at all. And I want to introduce a very basic structure of what, why, who, and how. I mean, there are a lot of frameworks like PSA, AIDA, but I think most of the time it's better to get back to the basics of what the real introduction should be about. And the real introduction serves two purposes. First, it engages the viewer or the reader. Second, it gives you an opportunity to build rapport and trust between you and the user. So without further ado, I'll go to the Jasper chat, which can be found on the left hand side, the sidebar here. And I will just use the two commands. So literally, if you want to have this intro written the way I'm doing it, you only need two commands. The first one is, and I will read through it before I run it, write four highly engaging paragraphs covering each of the what, why, who, and how questions about, and here's where you insert a keyword or your topic, how to train Bitcoin with RSI, where, what is the topic of the article, why, the main reasons for the reader to read the article and what makes it unique, who, what expertise does the author have to answer the question, and how, what benefits will the reader reap upon reading the article. So let's try this. And we can see that Jasper Chat produced four paragraphs. So the first one is entitled What? Trading Bitcoin with the Rate of Strength Index is a powerful and efficient way to maximize gains. It makes use of technical analysis to determine patterns of movement. So these kind of answers one of the main queries of the article already. Why this article, how to trade Bitcoin, will provide readers with all the information they need to get started, as well as valuable insights that could help them make better investment decisions. So this is the reason for reading. Three, which is who the author of this article has been an active trader for over eight years and has extensive knowledge of applying technical analysis and this and that. And obviously, within this brief, if you have certain credentials, like certain years under your belt, so to speak, or other information about your certification, so you can include it here. Now the fourth paragraph, which is how, upon reading this article, readers will gain an understanding of how to apply RSI, which can be taken advantage of for max maximum gains. They will also be able to discern false signals, but this is not an intro per se, so we will need to use the second command. And the second command is extremely simple. Write a 152-200 word intro based on the above paragraphs. Use an active, engaging and creative voice and tone from the first person perspective. So everything that Google loves, the I in the intro, so the first hand experience, the active voice, engaging, and let's see what Jasper Chat comes up with. So this is the first iteration. Trading Bitcoin with the RSI has revolutionized my approach to the cryptocurrency market. And this is talking about my experience. Having been an active trader for more than eight years, I know how to identify profitable entry and exit points. So again, giving my some credibility. Firstly, I will provide readers with all the information they need, so what they'll get. At the end of this article, readers should be able to have a better understanding of how to apply RSI. And this ends with a call to action, which is join me in this journey of exploration. 
So this is good. If I were you, I would copy it. Then I would click try again. And again, this is not wasting any of your credits. Let's see the second version. The second version is a much more condensed version. As a cryptocurrency trader, I'm always looking for the best ways to maximize my gains. That's why I started using the RSI. In this article, I will share with you what I have learned during my eight years of trading. And with this knowledge, you'll be well equipped with the tools necessary for success in crypto trading. So I actually like this one better. It's more condensed, but to the point. So no words are wasted here. And yeah, you can press try again if you don't like what you're seeing, but still you're not wasting any credits and you are getting a very neat introduction, which has an I component, which references past experiences, which ends with call to action. And with uh, the previous example, it even tries to answer the main query directly. So I hope this has been helpful. If you want to get access to Jasper chat, follow the links in the description and I wish you well. Until next time.